welcome my friends around the world. This is another show of hemp engineering. Today we have the pleasure of talking to Mr. Humberto Noriega. Noguera. Noguera. <laughs> yes, um, my apologies. No he problem. is a featured speaker in the upcoming Hemp African um, Summit that will be held in 18 of July. And thank you for thank you for your time, Humberto. Thank you for the invitation. Yes, hemp engineering is open to collaborate with people such as yourself to put the foot in the ground and look to help one way or another. Humberto, tell us how did you end up in the hemp business? Well, in the beginning of the last decade, uh, 2010, I got really passionate about cannabis. Eventually, I started to, to read about it and I couldn't stop uh, until nowadays. Um, by 2014, I, in Angola, I tried with the state to, to explore medical and industrial hemp in, uh, in Africa, in Angola specifically. Uh, but only in 2016, I started to grow and, uh, and processing and selling industrial hemp in Portugal. Yeah. Um, since 2016, here in Portugal, where I'm based, I've been growing industrial hemp. I've been consulting for industrial hemp and medical cannabis projects. And most recently, I became the vice president of the Portuguese uh, uh, Association of Hemp Traders, Hemp Retailers, uh, sorry. Um, so this is how I, I got into the, into the hemp game, yes. I am very sure that with that passion of your, the way that you talk, um, you have a full understanding that we can use the fiber to build homes and plastic and timber and anything that the economy would require to substitute um, this uh, deforestation problem that we are having, not just in Africa, but all also in Southeast Asia and Latin America. Um, I am a firm believer that hemp is the solution for the environmental problems. Umberto, what are your expectations in this upcoming Hemp African Summit? I am sure that all the audience will be very happy to listen to your words. Yes, well, my... Uh... I have many expectations. I usually not a person of expectations, but in this case, we are talking about Africa, my birthplace. I know all the resources, all the possibilities, but only in paper. We really need this, these generations, these our youngsters, our African engineers, our African agricultures, our African scientists, to to give a lot of attention to to industrial hemp. Main thing about uh, construction uh, using industrial hemp, I think it's the thermal dynamics uh, of the buildings. Well, in Africa we have this huge dependence on uh, air condition. Uh, the houses I've been that are made of hempcrete, they have this amazing uh, uh, thermal dynamic, which uh, means they are um, cozy, uh, warm in the winter, but they are really, really fresh in the, in the summer. That's, uh, uh, in, I mean, um, at the same, uh, if we put on the, on the same, uh, the fact that Africa, Africans, uh, many families don't have the budget to to build houses with the with the, I mean top grade so-called top grade uh, insulation materials. Hemp is a much cheaper solution for uh, for those African families to have uh, some more dignity when it comes to to their house. Absolutely, and I am absolutely supportive of that uh, vision and goal for families in the third world countries. Umberto, what would you tell the decision makers on this regard for Angola or any other country on earth? Yes, well, I would tell them that at this point, at the, the present moment we are, there's no possible way to stop the cannabis industries. Doesn't matter if it's only industrial hemp, 
medical cannabis or eventually in this in this near future the, the legalization of the adult use but when it comes to industrial hemp the the question becomes even more uh, dense because industrial hemp alone is at least five to six times the uh, bigger industry compared to medical and adult use combined so for decision makers um my message would be take attention to the nutraceutical uh, potential of uh, of industrial hemp not only about uh, uh, for construction but the nutraceutical the thing is cannabis is finally returning into the human food chain and even the animals we we consume are also getting access to it so our health is being improved or much better um, look at the seed and the, the nutritional content people are working in prevention so to all decision maker decision makers of, uh, not only from angola but uh, from all from all sub-saharan africa the most we have a huge problem of malnutrition that can be solved with this uh, with this plant with this agriculture crop please take uh, take it pay attention and please help our uh, young africans to get access to it so they can study so so they can deliver even better uh, industrial hemp to to africa umberto noguera this is a great pleasure listening uh, such a young heart talking with that great passion Thank you. I see a rising star in this business. Um, thank you very much. This is Ramon You're Renato welcome. broadcasting from Perth, Australia of Hemp Engineering. And thank you once again for this time, Humberto. Thank you very much. Thank I'm you. Very see you soon at the summit. <laughs> I'll see you in the summit. <laughs> thank you very yeah. much. <laughs>